good? So um, last Wednesday, I was filling in, I was on a swap with another lieutenant at my department and uh, was riding on his engine. And uh, first call that morning, I guess it was about nine, 10 o'clock. Um, we got toned out for um, pediatric emergency. I think that's what it went out as. And as we were getting in the truck, it came up as a uh, pediatric cardiac arrest. And obviously everybody at that point in time was just like, you know what, oh, and the bad word. <laughs> I don't wanna say that on the camera, but that's actually what runs through your mind when you hear that. Um, nobody wants to run the call. So um, at that time, because the station I was at, usually we have three man trucks, but because it's a station that has a, a, a tender, which is a water truck, extra water supply for us, I went ahead and had that third person run, uh, run the call with us because I knew we were gonna need the manpower. Uh, so we get uh, going down the road um, and prior to getting there, the handout that Mike uh, handed everybody out, I actually pulled up and was going over the dosages and what medicine needs to be pushed first. So that actually helped out a lot with the call. And then um, obviously uh, we're, we find out that the call is on the side of the road. So we're looking for an intersection that they gave us and at first it wasn't the right intersection, so we, we were a little delayed, but not much. But we ended up getting there, and it was a vehicle on the side of the road. A nurse had stopped prior to us getting there, and she had uh, started resuscitation efforts um, prior to us getting there. So we get out, and um, it's a six to eight month, I believe it. It came out as a six month, but I think the overall true fact of the story was it ended up being an eight month old baby, and the baby was... Uh, Pulseless and apneic on arrival. Uh, first initial rhythm was asystole. Um, so I ended up taking over from the nurse that was on scene. I started chest compressions. And um, the moral of the story is, prior to uh, the ambulance getting to the hospital, the, uh, the baby regained pulses and um, started breathing over the tube. Um, <clears throat> we found out two days ago that uh, from us responding and doing the cardiac, or, you know, doing the resuscitation efforts, and um, pretty much doing all the steps that we needed to do in reference to cardiac arrest, uh, baby ended up coming back with pulses over 130. Um, they transported the baby from Citrus to Tampa General, um, and we found out two days ago that the baby has great brain function, uh, pupils are reactive to light. Um, moving all extremities and looks like it may get discharged uh, sometime this week. Um, the only reason that they're uh, keeping it right now from what we found out is uh, they're measuring cardiac output due to uh, the baby having a cardiac contusion from uh, CPR. So that's my story. Awesome. How you feel? So feel great. Um, you never know how a call is going to go and then once you get the, the word that you know you may have saved someone's life it's, it's, it's a real great feeling. So does this solidify to you why you're here in medic school and why you want to be a medic now? Absolutely. Um, like I was telling everybody before, when I first started medic school, it's, it, I didn't think I was going to be able to be a medic. It's never anything I ever wanted to do. And um, after that call, it all kind of made sense, basically. Um, so I'm here, I'm here for the long run now. <laughs> man. Awesome. Well, that's a great story, man. <laughs> Can anyone tell you why? What happened? Were they able to tell you what caused it? No, uh, I don't know what the cause was. I just know that, oh, there, there was a possible cause, unknown if, uh, if this is what exactly happened, but um, when we got on scene, the mom was there, and uh, once we had loaded the baby on the, on the uh, stretcher, she said that the baby was electrocuted at the house, um, just a little bit of probably 10 or 15 minutes prior to us getting there. And she said um, that she was taking the baby because the baby wasn't, wasn't acting right. She was taking the baby to the hospital. So she picked up baby, took the baby to the car, and when she got to the car, the baby went limp. And that's what prompted her to get in the car and start going towards the hospital, which she did. And um, I guess that at that point in time, when she was going on road, she realized, hey, he might need a little more help than driving in her car. So she pulled over, called us, and that's what caused us to get there. Wow. Awesome, awesome, great, great job, story. Man. Thank great job. you. I'm proud of you, man. Thanks. Very good for you and your crew.